Serious Beaver here, back in place, well, Tamika. <laughs> um, I'm back to talk about dyslexia. The reason why I wanted to talk about it is for two reasons. Dealing with um, the fact that I passed my CUNY exam. And also dealing with um, the fact that um, someone approached me and said, um, there's a possibility that I'll, I have dyslexia. I am dyslexic. Well, I, you know, whatever. Um, my thing is... Um, with dyslexia, knowing specifics into it and all that good stuff, it's fine. But I'm a person who, um, regardless of what they're being told, I will persevere. Or I'll try to persevere over what I'm being told. No one wants to be fed something that says they can't do something or there's something limiting them from doing it. And I ultimately saw that even upon taking a test online to determine if I'm possibly dyslexic, I saw something that the test determined that I was because the highest you can get was a 13 and the lowest that'll tell you that you're not dyslexic was a 9. So if you got a 9 and under, you're not dyslexic, but if you got over that, you were dyslexic or borderline or whatever. I got 11, okay? Um, I was bothered by that, but then I figured something about that didn't itch me right because I did so well in school with quite a few other studies of mine and I didn't necessarily have to deal with that you know per se but then there was the whole thing with um using signs and negative and positive signs in algebra that was just it, before my eyes it was mixing and matching and I was just like what but I, I conquered it apparently to a degree but um I had just my whole thing the battle with math has been something lifelong for me I wasn't necessarily I was more so um in school I was more so pushed to the things that I did great which were my other studies and with math I was left there to um kind of just figure it out in the hopes that when I got home my teachers thought well my mom would be able to furthermore know but you know throughout the years every set of math that people are given it changes unfortunately and some people adapt it and some people can't and parents teaching their children to learn something new that they didn't learn when they grew up it's a hassle to help your kids get forward um in high school i was taking two different math classes i was doing well in one and the one that i had before that i was doing terrible i don't know what that might have been because but I was excelling. I got uh, I got an 85 in the second course. In the first course that I took the hour before that, I got a 65. It's passing, but at the same time, it's not. You know what I mean? Like, what am I doing more in the other than I'm not doing in this? So that was surprising. My, my teacher at the time was baffled. She taught both classes. And she saw that my mom was working at a different rate or in a different sector than it was in one class she, she was just as bad as I was I didn't know what to do I just considered myself um, something it was spontaneous I don't know what it was I just embraced it and I needed to pass high school and just math was one of those things that could have hindered me for that from that but ultimately I made it so um, on to back to dyslexia uh, apparently by the pub PubMed Health, the uh, dyslexia is a developmental reading disorder. Disorder, it's a reading disability that occurs when the brain does not properly, properly, I'm sorry, recognize and process certain symbols. Math is reading, and reading is uh, literature is reading. Whatever you want to call it, it's a part of reading. Everything has to be read in order to be formulated, processed, and implemented understood um and i think with my positive and negative signs in my algebra that was the issue i was having and um regardless of the test that i took online to determine if i was dyslexic uh, i really i really was discouraged that they had tests like this online and then they wanted you to follow up with care to better help yourself this is not something that my family shied away from we all had our weaknesses as far as studies but um my mom was the best help she could be with teaching aids, big multiplication charts, what, so on and so forth. This wasn't something that we swept under the rug. It's just something I found out and 
I took care of it on my own. I said, well, I'm going to have to study harder. If I want to not have to take this test again, I'm going to have to study harder. I don't sit there and say, I wouldn't say that somebody um, pray on it. Prayer works, but when you add effort to it, prayers are amazing. Some people just dismiss it as, oh, they're just a little, a little weak on certain things. And they don't give them the help they need. And I feel like with patience, time, and a good support, everything is possible. But you know what, YouTube? This is it for now. I'll have a little bit. I'll put some stuff in the info box and then I'll go on and proceed with everything else. I might make another video discussing this. But for now, this is just dyslexia and a little, a little this, a little that. Um, I'll come back when I have a little more info to further go on to this. I got a few things I got to do tonight. So, YouTube, enjoy. Peace and love. Tamika, signing off. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.